So Rob, we know that after submitting a resume, which we talked about in the previous video, you know, we're hoping that uh, a recruiter will call us uh, or appoint a phone interview or a face-to-face. -face. But in those interviews, there's always preparation. There's always questions, behavioral questions. Tell me about the time. And we tell the students or even job seekers, you know, tell your story. Have stories ready so that you can tell it. So in terms of preparation for those stories, how can they be prepared? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I think of a couple of things. Number one, the, the it's really kind of thinking about, okay, what, why are they asking this question? Like, tell us about yourself. Um, I remember I had an interview, even though I knew not to do it, the tell us about, I started telling so many parts of my career, right? You're like, that's not what it is about. It's like trying to give them, this is a little bit of who I am and how it connects to the role, right? So um I think a lot of it is just depends on how you prepare. So when I think about the way I would ask a student or uh, anyone who's in higher education, because that's who I primarily deal with, yeah. it would be more like just how do you prepare for an exam? Because I want them to use the similar strategies that they use. So for yeah. myself, I mean, I like to concept map it out. I like to write it out. I put it on an index card. I actually, um, you know, usually have like an index card where I have three bullets and then I get it down to three words. I record myself. I practice. So like I have a lot of different steps that I'll do when I really want to prepare for an interview, but that's, that's not going to work for you, right? Maher or yeah. someone else. So really I, it's more of just like learn from other people's specifics, but then keep on going back to, okay, what have I used to prepare for a final exam? Because I think a final exam is actually a really good um, analogy to uh, uh, an interview, right? You kind of know the course, you kind of know the topic. In this case, the topic is you and the company though, right? And the role. And you, there's a lot of like nerves and there's pressure yeah. and it's very mentally challenging, right? So I think that's kind of like a final exam, right? Yeah. And the more of them you do, it doesn't mean you get an A every time. You just start developing a process that allows you to be mentally more strong right. for these interviews. And we all know that there is the STAR method, uh, situation, test, action, result. Yeah. Do you recommend that method or is there other thing that you use or test? Yeah, I, I, I think, first of all, if you're, not, if you're not using any framework, any framework's great to test out. So STAR, I know that's popular. The, the one thing I find with STAR um, working with people, it tends to get a little long. Again, remember, I, talk, I, like, I think about our brain w works well in threes. Yes. So STAR... By that fourth time, sometimes uh -huh. if you're writing it like too much, it's a quite yeah. a long answer. Uh, my preference these days is the car method. So you're using challenge, action, result, okay. con context, action, result. It's almost the same thing as yeah. star, which is like situational task, action, result. But I just like the three to yeah. kind of get in there. So um, and I like to write that sometimes for even what the first bullet may be on an accomplish. I mean, like for the accomplishment statement as well. So you're double dipping. I think what happens is it's surprising how many people don't look back at their resume yeah. for interview stories, right? So we we assume we we get the job and you got to remind yourself, you got the interview because of your resume, yeah. right? So um, it's just but, an open door. Nothing yeah, else. but that we also think then that because they have it, they know our resume, right? Like, no, they don't. You they can don't, use, yeah. you can use those stories. You're like, yeah. you've already mined proper stories because that's why you're there. But yeah. I think we forget to use them or reuse them or use pieces of them. Yeah, and I always, I always feel that sometimes people forget the result part. They talk about the first written point, they forget about the result, which is the most important. What you have accomplished. Actually, I would even go further. Mar, I think what a lot of people tend to do is they might say the result, but they don't then connect it to the role. I know you're there interviewing, but the human brain, you need to connect it, especially if you're like just speaking, right? So yeah. you'll see often someone will say the car or star, and then that's it, rather than connecting it to the role, the role right? Yeah. Reminding them this is why. I'm going to be good for this. This All is right. why 
I can read it, but yes. yeah. You don't see a lot of people explicitly connecting. Yeah, those are great tips, Rob. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in another, next time for another great question with Rob.